Uh, 15, which of the most accurately expresses the main point of the passage? I was thinking, hey, it's the last sentence, given what we were just talking about. And so, um, when I read A, since distribution of a document placed on the web is controlled by the author of that page, rather than by the person who creates a link to the page, creating such a link should not be considered copyright infringement. This does not include what? Copyright law. Yet, we should get ad law. Huh? Yep, whether we should make copyright law stronger or not, right? So it's a little narrow, a little narrow. Keep it open though, because there's nothing inaccurate about it, right? Claire? Okay. Answer choice B, does anyone know why B is wrong? Democracy. Huh? Democracy. The democracy. Oh, I got rid of it as soon as I got to the word unless. Changes in copyright in response to the development of web pages and links are ill-advised. I was like, yeah, 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 they're ill-advised. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Unless, wait, there's an exception? I don't know if there was an exception. Um, but maybe this discussion of democracy is Irrelevant. also new. And, yeah. But I stopped it unless. Um, answer choice C. All right, let's talk about it. Okay, C. People who are concerned about the access others may have to the web documents they create can easily prevent such access without inhibiting the rights of others to exchange ideas freely. Okay, there's two problems with the answer choice C. One is too narrow. Like, this is just like a very small point that was made to argue that we shouldn't change copyright law. Like, hey, people can put password protection on their documents, and that's why it's not a big deal that others can link to them. Because if they really want to protect them, they can. But that was just like a premise to this broader point that um, it's ill-advised to change the law, right? Right. Well, so I was between A and C, and I chose A, but just because I ran out of time. But A still seems pretty narrow. Oh, okay. Right, so that's okay. Yeah, you're. At, uh, I, I agree. I agree. A is narrow, right? Answer to C is also wrong for one other reason. Does anyone know? The without inhibiting, yeah. They said that password restrictions would impose a, somewhat of a restriction on the free exchange, free exchange of ideas, right? So I felt like answer choice C was inaccurate. Do you guys remember? The greatest sin on the LSAT is? Inaccuracy, right? The LSAT has its own Ten Commandments, and number one is don't be inaccurate. You're like, ooh, put it that way. I'll never be inaccurate again. Answer choice D, I have no idea where basic common sense comes out of anywhere. So I got rid of that. Was anyone tempted by D? Okay. E, I suspect, I heard people talking about this one. Is the other one we were tempted by? Let's talk about it. Maintaining a free exchange of ideas on the web offers benefits that far outweigh, a little strong, not saying, okay, it's a little strong, but whatever. Those that might be gained by a small number of individuals was there a discussion of like how many people will benefit? I'm starting to feel like this is a little inaccurate. Let's keep going. If a radical alteration, radical alteration, I think they talked about strengthening the laws, but radical alteration seems new, uh, of copyright lies aimed at restricting the web's growth are allowed. Are these laws aimed at restricting the web's growth? Our purpose in passing these laws is to restrict the growth of the web, damn it. But it did say, um, Go ahead. because it would impede the development of the web as a public forum dedicated to the free exchange of ideas. I, I mean, I it's still a bit strong, but. Wait, wait, hold on. These are two totally different things. This person is saying that if we strengthen copyright law, it will have the result of impeding the web. How is that different from answer choice E? Anyone? What's the difference? Does Taryn have a point here? Can you say that again? Sure. I'm wondering what the difference is between saying radical alter alterations of copyright laws aimed at restricting the web's growth yeah. versus the last sentence of the passage. Taryn, what's the difference? Motivation. Motivation. Is one is about deliberate. what's going to happen, yeah. and one is saying, well, we did it for that purpose. Right? And the LSAT loves this distinction between trying to do X and X just happening. Right? Like, mm -hmm. oh, if you strengthen the laws, you're going to have this negative result. That may not have been the goals of strengthening the laws. The goals may have just been to protect copyright law, or co you know, copyrighted material. 
But um, the effect of that was this. He has a choice E makes it sound like people are <laughs> specifically trying to restrict the growth of the web. They're afraid of this new medium. <laughs> All right, we feel better about this one? What? So, yeah. Sorry, one, one question. The reason why I didn't choose A, I mean, I didn't like any of these. You didn't like any of them? Yeah. The okay. reason That's I, okay, we never like any of these. I didn't choose A was because it doesn't explicitly make or it doesn't seem to explicitly make the connection back to the the changing of the law. Yeah, I agree, hundred percent. And so, so what'd you choose? I chose E. I didn't love it, but okay. So you committed sin number one. You me realize that, right? Mm -hmm. Like this is this is wholly inaccurate, right? And answer to his A is just narrow. It just felt like restating a premise. I agree. So you know, like in the in the. I agree. The, the logical reasoning. Yeah. Uh -huh. when it's, uh, yeah, like the role, or yeah, like, oh, or what's the conclusion? Oh, they gave me a wrong answer as a premise. Yeah. So, like, in, in these scenarios, if we can't explicitly re -ident identify another wording of the conclusion, yeah. but there is a valid premise that has some you know, really strong ties to the conclusion, yeah, is I that feel a like, better bet? Well, so this premise, let's keep in mind, though, that this premise is really what? It's not just a premise. Anyone know? What is it? Answer choice A is. Intermediate. You guys, you guys falling asleep? Like, hey, it's seven thirty. Got time for this stuff right now. Uh, it's Inter what? Intermediate. Conclusion. Intermediate conclusion. So it's like it's like the last step. So, you know, before the main conclusion. So I feel like it's the closest thing we got. Um, but even if answer choice, well, I guess answer choice E is trying to get at that main point. But because it has inaccuracy, I'm like, nope, we can't do that. I don't know why. The LSAT just doesn't like being wrong. Yeah. So you, you pick A. You don't change your little MP um, designation on the, on the passage itself based on your answer. Nope. I'm not going to. Nope. Not, I'm going to say this is. You, it's not telling you that this is the main point. It's, it's not telling me that's the main the point. Best of bad choices. That's exactly what it says. Which one of the following most accurately expresses the main point of the passage? This is the most accurate answer, even if it's not the accurate answer. We are in control of this test. We've identified the main point. They're saying choose the best one. We're going, okay, that's the best one. But you're not letting them dictate to you what the main point is. Wait, Claire? I'm muttering. Okay. Are you still with C? No, I just think they should have thrown this question out. No, no. See, here's the thing about the test, is that a lot of correct answers are bad. But this is extra bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's a level of badness that you yeah. won't accept. Yeah, at the end of the day, though, they're always asking for the one that's most accurate. So even if it's really inaccurate, if it's more <laughs> accurate than the other four, they're like, hey, ready for our two-page memo on why this is correct? Email us. <laughs> <laughs> they do. I've seen these letters. I'll show you when I have one on my computer. Two pages, single space. We understand the inadequacy of the answer choice D in this question, but given the fact that, you know... Wow. The principle of charity, given in the context of, you're like, oh, wait, they, <laughs> okay. they answered you? Well, it was, it was a, another LSAT instructor, but yeah, they, they answered him, and then he sent it to me, and I was just like, okay. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they answer everyone. They don't want to get sued. So, <laughs> can, we, can we feel better about A because... Feel better about A. Because <laughs> the bulk of the passage is concerned with what A yeah. is... is is referring to though because even though it feels narrow and it's like the the, the the conclusion as identified it doesn't perfectly touch touch on that it like it takes up like this much space it doesn't matter it doesn't matter I still think this is the main point if you ask yourself yeah. um, why did this person sit down to write this this passage I think they wrote down they sat down to write it and tell us don't change the law yeah yeah the yeah, idea that um, Creating such a link should not be considered copyright infringement is a key yeah. element to getting to that conclusion, but I don't feel like that's the main point of this passage. Yeah. Because, you know, the main point in, like, all these other questions, too, can be one line. Right. Right. So it's not about how much, how much, how, how much. much I think that, you know, that, that could be a, maybe a factor. Okay. <laughs> if you're debating between two narrow answers that are, both of them are accurate. Yeah. But when we have inaccuracy, we can rest assured that answer is wrong. 
Measure it on the pencil. Yeah. Measure it on the pencil. <laughs> Takes up two and a half inches. Based on that, it should be B. That would be great in their written explanation for you. Did you measure with your pencil how many lines were dedicated to this concept? Okay.